Forced treatment of drug addicts. Why not? We are now in the millions in Canada addicted to illegal drugs. Almost all are on fentanyl or opioids, as it is called. When I suggest that all of these people should have forced treatments, here is the reply I get. 1. They have human rights. We can't do that. 2. The Constitution does not allow this. 3. They are making a choice. 4. Who cares? That is their business. There are enough legal drugs if someone wants. Marijuana, alcohol, cigarettes. There must be a hard line between legal and illegal. Otherwise, the cost of society is too large to leave 10% of our entire country sick. The Constitution does not protect a person to carry out illegal activities. So that argument is wrong. If we leave all these people addicted, they are sick, not working, and we have huge costs to pay. Welfare, housing, health issues, all of them create a crime spree, including theft and violence directly, and by organized crime, given billions of our money, that comes back as shootings and a further spread of this poison into our schools and working population. This is exactly what China, the exporter of this, wants. Chaos in our country and millions turned into permanently disabled persons. 21,000 died over the last five years in overdoses in Canada. The estimate is that 80,000 will die with health failure, stabbings, shootings, and overdoses related to opioids over the next five. In the interest of public safety and families and all people around illegal drug addicts, we must treat these people. Treatment must be forced in a locked facility with no substitute drugs, and a proper program is one year to fix all issues and place these people into jobs and housing so they are stable on exit. This is much cheaper than leaving these people for years like this. It is also a humanitarian crisis. None of these can choose to come off opioids. They are not making a choice. They are trapped by a synthetic poison. It is so addictive they cannot leave it on their own. It is therefore our duty to pick these people up and help them. We can't let them die on our streets or walk by. That is not who we are.